I'm trying a new mic, a lav mic. So technical difficulties are to be expected and I'm looking forward to it. Hey, have you ever wondered how do I make music? I also have wondered that. I just dropped my first song of 2021. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down how I made the song. And I'm gonna be learning right alongside with you guys because I have no clue how the hell I did this. I, yeah, this, this, this is gonna be a very scattered video because that's just, well, one, that's just how I make music, but also this session is really, really messy. If we're looking at the mixing side of things, it came close to like 500 tracks this is not the mix session this is just the actual song session where i like engineered everything so i'll be breaking down you know the beats and what we did with the vocals we'll see how we made the song because i don't even remember so we're gonna figure it out as we go on all right so we're gonna go over the main chords and melody first starting with this guitar sample that i found on splice but then i cut it up a little bit throughout the track and i changed the key and the tempo. I can't remember to exactly what exactly what it sounded like in the first place. Then we added another splice sample, a pad. Wavy, just dreamy kind of sound. Then throughout the song, I also sprinkled a little bit of this sub bass. This is not a sample. This is actually a sample I made myself. I played it on MIDI at first, and then we messed with it a little bit, and then I re-recorded it as an audio track. So you can kind of hear that in the background throughout the song. It kind of just like thuds the inside of your ears a little bit. Then during the first, I don't even know because this song structure is really weird. I guess it's the chorus. It could be the pre-chorus. We have two more pads, both different pads than the other pad. And I mixed it in a way that I wanted it to surround your head, but also kind of be layered under the vocals, letting the vocals take control mainly in this part, even though you're being surrounded by like this wavy kind of sound. So that's the quiet one. Then we have this one. It's a little bit louder, but then it comes in. The other one goes down where this one goes up. Also during the chorus, I added a few texting sounds as well because the song is about trying to find love in the 21st century and incorporating social media with that as well. Did that kind of thing and I did it to the beat. Then. At the end, I also added a little bit of cell phone vibration because that goes along with the lyrics. I don't exactly remember what I said, even though it may be my song, couldn't tell you how I did any of this. So pretty simple when it comes to the melody of the song. However, the engineering side of things, I chopped up a bunch of random stuff so it makes it sound super complicated. That's what I really like. I like keeping it simple, but making it so it doesn't sound simple to like, a typical listener. Even though this song does seem like hella complicated, I would say it's more hella complicated when it comes to the vocals. But when it comes to the beat, it's pretty repetitive, but I added just so many different elements that makes it seem like it's not repetitive. So moving on to the drums, I added a bunch of different kind of stuff, the typical hi-hat, snare, 808, etc., but also some other weird stuff too, starting with the hi-hats. I did some weird stuff with the hi-hats. This is the main hi-hat. And you don't hear this throughout the whole entire song. I switch up the different hi-hats throughout the whole entire song. We have hi-hat two, which is basically the same thing, except it's a different hi-hat mixed in a different way. On top of that, I added a delay to it as well. So it kind of goes back and forth. It's a ping pong delay. And then we have hi-hat three, which comes in at the end of the song and then replaces hi-hat one in the end of the song. And it's a little bit faster and it's got a little bit more of a bump to it. Now moving on to the snares. It's an interesting kind of metal sounding snare. It thuds in your ear and it really stands out in the mix. And then we have the second snare, which replaces that first snare throughout the majority of the song. It's the same snare, except I panned it to the left a little bit. And I just feel like that kind of made sense where it was in the song. Then we also, of course, have a clap. What I really like about this clap is every other clap, I cut the dissonance, but I left it on the others. Now moving on to a part of the beat that really stands out in the mix, we have the kick. 
And as you can see, I messed with the pitch of the kick. Also, even though this kick does stand out in the mix a lot, it's not the typical sounding kick. You typically would just hear like this thud. I wanted to use this kick in a way that sounded more like an instrument instead of just going along with the BPM. Now we have one of the more fundamental parts of the beats. We have the 808. Now the 808, I will definitely say, was really hard to mix in this song just because of how much layering I did with this beat. But what I wanted to do is I wanted it to put it just under everything else. I wanted you to be able to feel it, but not exactly hear it. And paired with that kick, it goes along with that same melody. Now we also have a second one here too, where I just pitched it up a bunch. So it kind of just thuds into your ear. And then lastly in the drum section, probably my favorite part is the toms. I really added this weird groove to the song. Now this actually was not MIDI. It was a sample that I found that I just chopped up a bunch. So now listening to the whole beat, it sounds like this. But now, of course, we have the vocals as well, which is the most complex part of the song. Now, if I really wanted to run down every single vocal, it might be a little long of a video, so we're not going to do that. But to sum it up, really, I recorded a bunch of stuff, then I engineered it, then I recorded a bunch more, then I deleted it all, then I recorded a bunch more, then I was unhappy, deleted it again, recorded more, then sent it to Abe's, he sent his verse back, it was amazing, didn't really have to mess with that at all, however, I did take a chunk of his part and put it at the end so we could do that like interesting meld of all of our voices at the end, which gave me the idea of doing that. Then I recorded a little bit more, then I sent it to Carly, she said, aha, say less, and she came over and we recorded her part at my studio. And then I recorded more, and then I engineered it more, and then we mixed and mastered it, and that's the song so this song took a lot more work than honestly most songs do i basically tinkered with it just on and off for maybe six months it was exhausting but it's out now so go check it out please this is the second single off of my upcoming album coming out later this year the first single was called runaway that one is also out if you want to check out both songs that would be super cool and for all you fellow musicians out there now that you see how simple but also complicated it is to make a song like this go out and do it yourself i hope you all have a fantabulastic day get outside it's been super nice outside go smell the flowers unless you have allergies like me in that case, just stay inside. Do not go outside. Do not take the chance. You will get a runny nose. I miss that long phone call when you get hyped about licking up in the rain. I don't know why I'm talking like